Hello YouTube, I'm Evy Productions and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use these three different types of controllers to play on your iOS or Android devices. Basically just use these controllers for video games and things like that, particularly Minecraft Pocket Edition, I know because of my fan base. But anyways, basically I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a Bluetooth PS4 controller, a controller made particularly for iOS and Android gaming, and a USB Xbox controller. So I guess we'll get Get right into it and start with this one. So this is for the PS4 slash Bluetooth controller and for an Android device. So the PS4 controller will only work on some Android devices, not all of them, so keep that in mind if it does not work. But you can still, of course, try anyways. Anyways, go into your settings on your Android device, go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on if it isn't on already. Next on the PS4 controller, you're going to want to hold the PlayStation and the share buttons at the same time until your uh, light starts blinking like that on the back. Then if your device is compatible, it should show up in the Bluetooth section. However, I already know that this one is not compatible with the controller because it is missing the Sony drivers. It is an Nvidia Shield tablet. Basically, this will only really work if you have a Sony Android device. I'm pretty sure you can get a connector though that will connect it in here and it will work. On iOS, uh, this does not work either, so um, don't bother trying with an iOS device. Apple is very strict with what Bluetooth the devices they let on. Anyways, now we're moving on to the mobile device controller. This is a SteelSeries Stratus XL. It's a very good controller. I highly recommend it if you really want to do some mobile gaming. Anyways, let's start off connecting it to an Android device. Again, the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up to your settings. Go to Bluetooth, of course. You're just going to turn on your controller, then hold the pairing button. Now it's in pairing mode, which means it should try to show up on this. Oh, there it is. Alright, available devices, Steel Series Stratus XL, not that one. I think that's my phone. So it's going to try to pair and connect with it when you tap it on your Android devices. Now this one's actually particularly made for uh, iOS, but it will still connect on Android, and you can still use it on Android. However, there are some funky glitches sometimes and stuff. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm using it with Minecraft PE right now. Alright, we're going to try to go into a world here and see if this works. Alright, so yeah, it actually does work for Minecraft PE. It's pretty interesting now. Yeah, if you're using an iOS controller, uh, some of the controls can get a little bit mixed up and maybe even a little delay, but it seems to be working pretty good right now. Moving on to iOS devices, that's what this controller is particularly made for. So again, on your iOS device, you just go to your settings. You're going to want to, of course, turn your Bluetooth on. And there you go, the SteelSeries Stratus XL is popping up on other devices, you're just going to want to tap that and it will connect. So now we are connected on the SteelSeries Stratus XL. Sad part is you can't actually use it to navigate iOS, but you can play, of course, games with it. Alright, so now we are in Minecraft PE and it's working awesomely because uh, this is really what it's designed for. So it's going to work flawlessly 100% no matter what. So yeah guys, as you can see, the controller is working completely awesome, and oh my god, we're revealing a uh, disgusting world that I built uh, a very long time ago. Alright guys, let's move on. This is the final controller. You might be thinking, how am I going to use a wired controller? How am I going to use this? You might be thinking. Well, the thing is, I'm not going to be using either an iOS or an Android device for this. You need a Windows tablet or phone, which I don't even have. Basically, the Windows tablets usually will have a USB device on the side, and you can use Minecraft Pocket Edition with the USB device. Otherwise, this just plugs right into your computer, so if you want to play Minecraft on Windows 10 with it, it totally works for that. So yeah, you can actually still use it for Minecraft Pocket Edition, but um, not with iOS or Android. Alright guys, so was this video helpful? I really hope it was. I'm at Productions. thank you for watching. Subscribe and all that stuff, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.